One of the next things that I'm going to redesign is how the workpiece table um, is connected to the base frame, to the metal frame here. Now, it is essential that the workpiece table can be aligned. And the important degrees of freedom for alignment are the rotation around the RZ axis, which is this axis, parallel to the screwdriver, and the RXX, that's uh, this axis, and the RY axis, that's that axis. So it's essential that the workpiece table can be aligned uh, for those three rotations. And in this current design, I do that mechanically. So the workpiece table is uh, mounted on flexures that can all be individually adjusted. And this is quite a complicated mechanism. It works well, but it's hard to make. And I think it can be done simpler. So one of the things that I want to do to make this mechanism and make this design simpler is to uh, resolve the alignment issue around the RZ axis. So this RZ axis, not mechanically, but by software. And by doing so, then the mechanics can get simpler. Now, how do you do this by software? I've written a little um, calibration tool that enables you to do this. And I'm, I'm going to demo how this works. So um, here's the little calibration tool. It can generate a geo file. And a geo file in Kmotion CNC is something that can uh, perform a coordinate, uh, coordinate transformation for you. Now, in order to make this geo file, that can do a coordinate transformation for a rotation around RZ. We first need to figure out um, yeah, what the new X axis is going to be. So in this, in this little demo here, I've uh, put a piece of metal on my uh, workpiece table. And now I want this straight line. I want this to become the new X axis. So if I jog at the moment, the machine moves in parallel with the uh, x-axis. Okay, so if I jog at the moment, the machine moves in parallel to my normal x-axis. So pressing the x-jog button here, pressing the x-jog button, moves the machine exactly parallel to the original x-axis here, this one. This is my axis now. But now what I want to do is if I press the jog button, I want it to jog along this X axis. And if I jog Y, I want it to be exactly perpendicular to, to this axis. So in order to use my, my tool, you need to fill in a positive X travel here and a measured relative Y offset. So. How do you come up with these numbers? Well, first, you touch on the uh, desired x-axis. So I'm going to move down here. I'm going to move such that I'm just touching. Put to the left. Put down. Now I'm just touching. And then uh, you set your gauge, your indicator, your dial indicator, you set it to zero, like so. And then you make a travel along the x-axis, along the original x-axis, uh, to a new location a bit further down the road. So first I move up. Then I move to a new location. Oh, I forgot something then. So when you touch off, you need to zero your DRO. So let's do it again. I zero it here. And I also need to zero the DRO. Okay, so here it's zero. Now I zero the DRO.
then I move to the new location. So up to the right. Let me see, I don't want to crash into my clamp here. Almost a bit more. Okay, bit down. And now I delicately move my Y axis down until the gauge is zero again. So I'm taking small steps here. Almost there. Just a few more mini steps. Yeah, it's there. Okay. And now these two numbers are the offset and the travel. These two numbers I need to fill in in the uh, Plex EDM RZ calibration tool. So my positive travel here, I'm just typing them over. My positive travel is 106.0818. And the measured offset in the y direction 54.3603. So, and now I pick a path for the uh, geo file that this tool will generate. Um, so, pick path and uh, let's just dump it on my desktop somewhere. I already have some files here. Let's make it just a new one. Call it testgeo5. Save. Okay. Now I can hit generate. And it generates this uh, geo file, testgeo5.txt. So now I go to tool setup in Kmotion CNC. And go to setup files. And then I load the geo file. So I load the one that I just made, which is on my desktop here. I load the geo file. And I press OK. And now it's done. So let's make a straight move now in X direction and see if it remains parallel to that axis. OK, so I'm hitting zero here at this location and then I say move along the x-axis minus 100 not too fast 3 okay make the move now it's moving and that's pretty accurate There is a bit of oxidation on the piece of metal and it slightly vibrates. As you can see, it's, it's really good. So now I have a new x-axis. That's pretty amazing. Because now, it, this is a really uh, exaggerated angle. Um, in reality, you only have uh, one or two uh, degrees. There is only a slight bit of um, uh, mechanical uh, misalignment that you need to correct for so uh, yeah this this is really gonna work great the RZ calibration tool is available for free on bagsedm.com you can go to the download section and download it it's a zip file you need to unzip it and um, yeah then you have an executable which you can simply run you don't need to install anything so head over to bagsedm.com to download it over there and uh, yeah, thanks for watching.